Help! Help! Is there a man of the law about? Hello, sir! Can I help you? Um, that man has been tickling me! Well, uh, that's not technically illegal! Oh, right. Um, well, if it was, would you be the man for the job? Yes! Because I am a constable! Right. What does that job entail? Well, I oversee all the watchmen. Uh, together we can patrol all the streets and maintain order and stop crimes. What an admirable profession. You must get a lot of job satisfaction. Well, well actually no, because I'm not even paid. So that I am not re-elected, I do a really shoddy job. Right. How do you do a shoddy job? Well, I don't investigate crimes, and I also pretend to be asleep when crimes are being committed. Could you show me what happens when someone is accused of a crime? Yes. They undergo terrible ordeals. Follow me, I'll show you. The first ordeal was the ordeal by fire. Oh, how does that work? Well, the accused person carries a red-hot iron bar, or they have to take out a stone from a pot of boiling water. The prisoner's hand is bandaged, and he returns three days later. If the wound has healed, God must think the prisoner is worth helping, so they must be innocent. If the wound is infected, God must think that the person is not worth anything and is guilty. Then they are put to death. Right. How far do they have to go with this red hot iron bar? Three steps. Follow me now for the next ordeal. What's next, constable? <laughs> the ordeal by water. Ordeal by water? That sounds much more pleasant and refreshing. Oh, it is. The accused is tied up. He is thrown into a lake or river, and because water is pure, like God, the prisoner floats, then water doesn't want him, and neither does God. If God has rejected him, he is guilty, and he must be put to death. If the prisoner sinks and drowns, God must want him in heaven, so he must be innocent. So let me get this straight. If they're innocent, they drown, and if they're guilty... They're taken out and killed anyway? Yes, that's correct, yes. Doesn't that seem a bit unfair? Um, no, because if they die and they're innocent, then they go to heaven. Right. What's the final ordeal? Follow me and I will show you. Our final ordeal is ordeal by combat. Well, this ordeal was just for rich people. The person accused of the crime would fight the person that accused them. You could even hire a champion to fight for you. So, they start fighting, then what? Well, they would start fighting at dawn, and they would fight for as long as possible, and then one side would give up and that side would be put to death. The side that won would obviously be innocent because God would give them extra strength to win the fight. Well, all these ordeals sound very, very fancy. Yes, but remember, they were only for really serious crimes like murder, stealing lots of money, or treason against the king. Well, thanks for your help, Constable. I don't want to keep you any longer. I'm sure there's plenty of crimes to get to the bottom of. Yes. Goodbye.